Interlab instrumentation is the ideal solution for color control measurement in all types of liquid applications. They give you the ability to measure anything from the most opaque of liquids to transparent liquids like water. This is due to the fact that the instruments can measure in both reflectance and transmission modes. Opaque liquids are measured in reflectance, transparent liquids in transmission, and translucent liquids like orange juice can be measured in either mode. The LAB scale is the most commonly used color scale. Essentially, the LAB scale was created to reproduce how our eyes and brain communicate color. The L axis is a measure of the lightness of your product. On the L axis, L equals zero is total absorption, whereas pure white would equal 100. Next is the A axis, which describes the green to redness factor. A positive A would have more red in it, while a negative A value would have more green. Last is the B axis, which represents the blue to yellowness of the product. A positive B value would be a more yellow product, while a negative B value would be a more blue product. HunterLab carries three categories of instruments, portable, benchtop, and online systems. However, benchtop are mainly used for liquid applications. This is due to the fact that most of the benchtop systems have the ability to measure in both reflectance and transmission. The beauty of the benchtop system is that they maintain the perfect balance between sample measurement precision and versatility. Northeastern U.S. sales representative Ken Wendt will now demonstrate how to use the ColorQuest XE, measuring liquids and transmission. In this demonstration, we'll be measuring the color of liquid in transmission and specifically looking at the yellowness index and related parameters. Our first step, as usual, is to standardize the instrument. Today, using a ColorQuest XE and measuring in transmission, I first need to set the top and bottom of our color scale. And placing in my 10 millimeter cell filled with DI water and taking a reading. Once the standardization is complete, we're prepared to measure our samples. I'll remove my DI water and replace it with my first sample. And I'll take a reading. On our first standard reading, it shows a slight greenness of minus one unit, a B value of four units, which is a yellow sample. And with three indices shown here, the APHA, Gardner, and Youngness Index at values of 132.7 and seven units. Now that we've completed our first measurement, let's measure the second sample. And I'll take a reading. And the data shows that we're greener, yellower, and the associated indices showing APHA of higher, Gardner increased, and the yellowness increased as we expected. So this is one of Hunter Lab's cost-effective systems at $15,000 complete with instrument software. What we just demonstrated is the ability to measure liquids in transmission on the inside of the unit. We can also measure reflectance on the outside. And we've got a variety of cells that are used. We've got large path length cells on down to very small semi-micro cells where you have less than one milliliter solution. Hunter Lab instrumentation takes the guesswork out of color control. It gives you analytical objective data for measuring all types of liquids, ones that are opaque, translucent, or transparent. Contact your local Hunter Lab sales representative for more details or demonstration.